In this lesson, we will learn how to simplify some basic expressions. First, we need to examine the definition of like terms. These are terms that have identical variables. So, for example, 3x and negative 5x are like terms since the variable in both terms here is x. Similarly, 7xy squared and 4y squared x are like terms because the variable portion in each term here is x times y squared. We can also say that 5k over m to the power of 8 and k over 4m to the power of 8 are like terms because the variable portion in each term here is k over m to the power of 8. Conversely, 3x squared and 4x cubed are not like terms since the variable in the first term is x squared and the variable portion of the second term is x cubed. Now the important point about like terms is that we can combine them through addition or subtraction. Now this should make sense to us. If the variables are identical, then they must have the same value, and as such we should be able to combine them. An analogy here is the way in which we use the word dozen. Since the word dozen always represents the number 12, we can combine dozens. For example, if we add two dozen and three dozen, the result is five dozen. Similarly, since the w in the term 5w has the same value as the w in 3w, we can combine these two terms to get 8w. This process of combining terms is called simplifying. Okay, now let's practice. To simplify this expression, we need to recognize that we have some like terms here that can be combined. Here we have 3x, and here we have negative 1x. Since these are like terms, we can combine them. 3x minus 1x simplifies to be 2x. Now notice that we have positive or plus 5y here, and from it we are subtracting 9y, which gives us negative or minus 4y. So we have now simplified the expression on the left hand side to be 2x minus 4y. Here's another one. Once again we can simplify this by combining like terms. So here we have 3ab and here we have negative 4ba. Since a times b is the same as b times a, these two terms are like terms. So 3ab minus 4ba simplifies to be negative 1ab, which we can write as negative ab. Next we have negative 7b plus 2b, which simplifies to be negative or minus 5b. So the expression here simplifies to be negative ab minus 5b. For this last one, let's first collect the terms with x squared. So here we have negative 3x squared, and we're going to add 2x squared, which equals negative 1x squared, or simply negative x squared. Next we will collect the x terms. We have 6x minus 5x, which equals 1x, and then we subtract 1x, which leaves us with 0x's. In other words, the x terms here cancel out completely. Finally, we have this constant, plus 7, and since there are no other constants to combine this with, we will leave it as plus 7. So, the somewhat lengthy expression on the left-hand side simplifies to be negative x squared plus 7. Okay, now let's simplify a different kind of expression. Here we are taking one expression in parentheses and adding another expression in parentheses. When adding two expressions in parentheses, we simply remove the parentheses and then further simplify the like terms. To simplify, we can first combine 2w and negative 7w to get negative 5w. Next, negative 10x plus 9x simplifies to be negative 1x or minus x. And finally, positive 1y and negative 1y cancel out, leaving us with no y's. So the expression on the left simplifies to be negative 5w minus x. In this next example, we are taking one expression in parentheses and subtracting another expression in parentheses. To handle this, we will first turn the subtraction into an addition. Now the terms in the first set of parentheses are left as is, 
but we will replace all of the terms in the second set of parentheses with their opposites. So we will rewrite 9x as negative 9x, minus y as plus y, and minus 7w as plus 7w. At this point, we are now adding two expressions in parentheses, just as we did in the last example. So here we simply remove the parentheses. At this point, we can simplify the expression as follows. Okay, to summarize, in this lesson, we learned that like terms can be combined. To add expressions in parentheses, simply remove the parentheses. And to subtract expressions in parentheses, we will add the opposites.